everybody. 47 Mark IV here, back on Foolcraft 3. All right, so I think I want to change out my armor today and make a little bit more progression. You know, I got looking at Project E a little bit, and I get where I need to go. Now, there are some items that I think I could get to that I want in the mod, but I'm going to need to be able to fly. And to do that, we're going to need an angel ring. And let's look. So right here, right? Nether star is not a big problem. All of this stuff, not a big problem. So I'm going to work on these two things right here. Now, you can see I've got a fishing rod in my hand because there is no way I'm going to stand and just fish for hours on end. So I built an AFK fisher, and I've been AFK fishing for a while. This is uh, Exumavoid's design. And I think he said he got it from somebody on one of his servers. So let's take a look at the loot here. Did I get anything? Yes, I did. All kinds of fishes. I got a couple of books, which are kind of nice, right? I uh, got all of those, but I did get four pufferfish statues. So that's kind of awesome, right? I just kind of boop, boop, boop. Right, if you haven't seen one of these before, you kind of aim under the string at the trap door and hold right click and it'll just fish for you. So, you know, however you want to hold down the right click button. And then when it catches a fish, just like that. And I went ahead and enchanted up a rod with mending and luck of the sea and lore and unbreaking and all of that. So I can, uh, you know, take care of this guy. And in case I want to do it some more, let's repair this. I've got a tank from Ender IO with XP, so I can just do that, and boom, fishing rod is done. So fishing rod, you can go in the pack. All right, get rid of that. Uh, let's see, you're supposed to be in there. You are not supposed to be in there. All right, so the next thing we need is ghast, right? And ghast should be pretty easy. And I'm thinking I can do this uh, fairly simply. So let's see, let's turn off the mob farm, and I'll come down here. And what I'd like to do is, oh, black hole tank. Oh, no, you're meat. Uh, you. So I've disconnected the experience for a little bit. And I just want to change this guy to be in and out. So I can extract out of that tank. And I can come up here to the mob duplicator. And all I've got to do, all I should have to do is I should have to find that net, right, with the gas. And let's do this. Let's see. Always active, active on redstone signal. I'll put the ghast in there. And that should suck the essence out of that tank, right? And then all I've got to do is come in here and I'll turn off the mob crusher, active on redstone signal. And I'm not using this button here because it causes the pipes to disconnect. It's kind of odd. But I should be able to come in here and I'm going to take out the speed 2 upgrade. And we should be able to do something like this. And... <laughs> Boom, you know, just like that. Oh, uneasy alliance. Hey, dude, stop it. Right? So I'm just going to kill a bunch of gas kind of way too up close. Oh, don't shoot your stuff. Don't shoot your stuff. Oh, I also, I took off my magnet. I'm going to have to find my magnet. But that's my plan. So I'm going to kill just an absolute ton of gas. All right, so this isn't working. Uh, you know, I went and looked it up because I have killed over a hundred. I know I only have a stack of gas tiers, but let's see. Mob chance right here, zero to one, so you're not guaranteed to get one every time. But I've probably killed probably two stacks worth. And so I went out and looked it up, and sure enough, it's broken in this version. So I'm running 1.31, and of course... In the next version, which is not available uh, for server files, I mean, at the time I recorded it, right? Uh, it's not available, and the drop is broken. So I have no option to get that gas statue. So for once, we're going to do this. We're going to get a gas statue. I think we can all agree that I've earned that one, that I have the setup that was going to be able to do it, right? So... I'm going to chuck all of this stuff back in here. Somehow got an endo flame. I'm not really sure how that worked, but let's see. All right, got to get out of creative here. So right over here. All right. 
So I hate to do that, but literally have no choice. And honestly, I don't have the time available to go and uh, wait for server files to update. Now, I did want to show you something with the, uh, what do they call this thing? The Qatar, because I saw it in the replay of my last video, and I didn't notice it until then, right? I didn't notice it when it happened. So I get near a bunch of mobs, and then I come down here, and I press a button, and it's area of effect kill. I kind of like that. Yeah, everybody die. Nice. So we can just kind of stand in the middle and boop get them all <laughs> this is the kind of power that i was looking for oh lag all right right there there we go now that's the power now i did want to see if i could make this a little stronger i don't know let's uh that's that is a lot of fun uh let's see so a couple of things that i'd like to do let's get all of this stuff going here kind of in order uh let's do the ring first yeah, let's do the ring. So just cleaning out everything. All right. So for the angel ring or the angel ring. Oh, I'm getting angel crystals. Uh, what do I do to you? Feed it to a fluid mood to change it. Really? I must be getting those out of the farm. Cool. Didn't know that. Uh, so angel ring right here. So I'm going to need some lassos and a drop of evil. All right. So lasso uh, right here. I've got one there. Let's see, last so. Can I do this here? No, never. Right? So I'm going to need a couple of these dudes. Let's just do this. Right? And then I'll come down here and we'll shift click. Uh, hello? Oh, eight experience. Eight experience. All right. So let me just grab some levels. And why are you not coming out? Really? There we go. Okay, that was weird. All right, and some evil, right? Clearly have the drops of evil to get this done. There's that. I know I needed some glass. Uh, let's see, regular old glass right there. Got that. All right, what else do I need for an angel ring? Uh, so a block of nether stars and... Does it have to be light gray? I bet you that's ore dictionary. All right, so it's just a block of nether stars, right? So we should be able to do this. All right, let's get this dude right there. And we'll go stick all of this stuff up on this setup. So this isn't a total waste, right? Clearly got all the stuff. Now, hopefully, order doesn't really matter. Oh, I forgot the gold, right? Uh, so let's see. One of you. Oh, I was like, where was it? And let's just check your angel, right? So it is. Oh, I'm going to need more. I'm going to need more. That's two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, so what were these things? A pedestal. Pedestal. All right, so let's craft up two more of these dudes. That shouldn't really be a big deal. And hopefully I could just kind of squeeze them, oops, squeeze them in something like that. And then we'll get the gold. It was two bars, I think. Right? It's two bars. This. That. Uh, so. Let's just set all of this stuff down. You and you and you and you. And what was left? It was a drop of evil. I feel like I'm short something. I feel like I'm short. Oh, I put the puffer fish on. Okay, there we go. So right there. So that should be it. And I should be able to take off this chess piece. Uh, let's see. I got to put you right there. Oops, stuff is happening. Right? Okay, cool animation. Done. Nice. So then I take you off and I've got an angel ring. Very cool. Now I'm feeling a little exposed without a chest plate. So let's just grab this chest plate so I have armor. Now, the only thing I don't like about this set is my lack of uh, night vision. Uh, oh, there we go. I was going to say, I've got the GP for this. I know I do, right? Because I've got this over here, which reminds me. You know, I made a bunch of weirding gadgets. We ought to. Oh, good. They're all in the same chunk. I need to chunk load these dudes or else that's going to be a problem, right? All right. So we've got our angel ring. Very cool. Glad that's done. I think in the next version, you don't need the statues. I think that's what's coming up. So what I'd like to do is I want to try some things here. 
I'd like to try to get a different helmet, right? And when I was looking up for night vision, I saw this gem helmet. That there's some way to do this. So let's take a look at what this needs. This is going to need a red matter helmet, which is a dark matter helmet, right? And I've got all of that stuff. All right, can do. I'm going to need a Klein Star, a Soul Stone, right? Got the Soul Stone. I'm going to need this whatever thing. Oh, what was that thing called? An Evertide Amulet, right? Evertide. I think I can do it this way. Yeah, and that way I can use the uh, water in the system. All right, so let me go back to night vision. So the only thing I need right here is the Klein Star. And if this works the way I think it does, this is a crafting progression. And I think, I think if I order two stacks of these dudes, I should be okay. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let me get two stacks going, right? And I've already got the Mobius fuel. I just needed the diamonds. So that shouldn't be that hard to do, right? And do I have, can, it, can this be a bobble? Really? Did we not put Angel Ring to bobble in the pack? Really? Come on now. How could we not have done that? No, that just, it's got to be a ring thing, right? Okay, whoo! Oh no, I don't have room for all my stuffs! I don't have room for all my stuff! Right, because the rings can only go in the ring slots. Alright, uh... What do I want to lose here? I guess I'll have to change out the band of mana for a mana tablet, maybe. Alright, so let's take a look here. Klein, right? Two stacks. Really? I gotta do this? I have to do that. Uh, you know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Alright, so let's do this. Let's get a crafter. Let's let the crafter do this for us. And let's get an exporter and a uh, power plug here. A flux point. Right? This should be able to be done. Alright, so right here. Maybe we can do something like this. Right? Is let's export these uh, Klein whatevers. So give me this dude, and you can come in here, and we'll make a new recipe, so I'll clear this guy out. And if I do one, two, three, four, like that, yeah, that gets me the next tier. All right, so I've been letting the setup run for a little while. I went ahead and upgraded the crafter to a tier three and got the whole progression. Uh, what are you doing? I must have made some extras, but we are all the way up to a Klein Star Omega. So this should work. Big EMC batteries. Is that what you do? All right. So let's go and stick all of these dudes together. And we get the gem helmet. Nice. So let's take this thing off. Uh, any change to the armor bars when I do this? No, I think they're just stuck at full. And this guy should be night vision disabled. Press left shift and none. Okay, finally figured it out. It did not like the key I had it bound to. So now I've got night vision toggleable, which is pretty handy. All right, so that was kind of neat. I also wanted to try to make some armor. Oh, I got that thing back out of the wither stuff, right? Just so I could see. Maybe I want this for things. I don't know. I just wanted to play with all of it, right? So let's get all of this stuff and something like that. And now I lose my night vision, but, right, I gain all of this other stuff. You know, if I could find a way to get night vision, I mean, there's a couple of options, right? So we could make this ring of night vision, and I think you got to feed it blaze powder, but it goes pretty fast, right? I need to make, well, it's not even going to show me. There is a night vision book, but you got to get into astral sorcery to do it. But this is pretty good armor right here, so... This might be the set that I wear, because if I take this off, I'm going to lose all my buffs, right? So this might be the set I'm going to wear for, I don't know, doing battle or something. So let's just, let's just throw it all on this armor stand, not back on my head. All right, and right there, and right there. Kind of an awesome looking set, but I am going to keep this stuff on because I do like night vision. And I'll put that in there. Now, I was thinking this whole time, right? I've got this Qatar. Oh, and I also did make the Morning Star, right? And the Morning Star is a pretty good, uh, it's a shovel and everything else, right? So 
it does a nice job. Now it's got some effects to it, right? Standard three by tall shot mode, but I'm not exactly sure how to get that to work yet. I'm still working on figuring that out because it's also got wide shot and long shot. Uh, I'm not, like I said, not exactly sure. You know, if I, uh, if I put you like this, yeah, none of the other do stuff buttons do anything. But as I was looking at this, you know, we can't enchant it. But maybe we can. I, I wanted to try a thing, right? There's um, there's a block from Industrial 4 going, the enchantment applicator, right? And this just isn't that hard, right? Let's, uh, let's try out this dude and let's just see. Let's go for an experiment and see what happens. Oh, I'm pretty close. What do I need? A couple of iron gears? All right, I don't have to deal with that. There's a stack. Not like I don't have the iron, right? And I'm just going to need a book here. So let's see if we can find something in case this works. Uh, what would work good? Do I have sharpness? Do I have? Yes, I do. Sharpness. All right, so that'll work. And can I get that? Uh, where's that multi-shot book? I, I want to go try something. You're multi-shot two. Uh, oop, 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 there it was. Multi-shot three. All right, so I'm just going to need some conduits here. You and you. And maybe a flux point? I don't know. Let's grab one of these guys and let's just see. Right? But pretty happy to have a uh, creative flight. Right? That's kind of nice. I just got to get used to that. It's not the uh, jetpack. So if I come down here, right? I've got oop, step assist. I've got essence right there. Right? So... Let's put the enchantment applicator right here and let's conduit down into it and just say insert, right? And you should fill up like that. And then let's do this and I'll give you power, right? And okay, so you've got power. Can I, can I do things here? So let's see, let's get this one. Will you go in here at all? No, you won't. You absolutely won't. That'll go in there though. Can I put multi-shot on my, uh, oh, it's because you got power, right? You got power. What is the slot? Is it this one? Uh, let's see. Input items and enchantments, right? Are you the enchantment slot? Enchanted books input. Ah, they fixed it. Okay. I was hoping I'd be able to cheese a couple of things out of here, but I guess I can't. All right. Well, it was worth a try, right? Let's go understand and see if we can cheat the system a little bit. All right. Can't cheat. That's okay. But you know, I was thinking about one more thing, though, since I was in Industrial 4 going, is uh, I guess I can come in here. You know, I've got all of this stuff, right? If I look up like leggings and whatnot, I've got all of these things. And I'm wondering, could I make a generator out of this? Isn't there a, uh, it should be black, right? A disenchantment generator. Isn't there one of these things, right? Wouldn't that be easy to make? Uh, so one of these furnace gens, all right, right there. And where is it? Disenchantment. So I just need magical wood, which is book bookshelves and four XP and gold ingots, right? All right, so let's get a uh, book shelf. Let's see if we can get five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll get some gold, right? So something right here, and I'm going to need some XP. So we'll come over here, and I'll just suck down a bunch of levels here. There's something like that. I need to move the obelisk over here and just repipe that, but I just haven't. All right, so can I get that? Thank you. And then uh, disenchantment, right? Isn't that what it was called? Uh, generator. It is this guy right here. Oh, just two redstone. All right, so red stone. Two of you guys. All right. And ah, where did it go? Generator. Right? And then something like this. And that means I'm going to want one more thing, which is probably the uh, enchantment whatever, sorter. Yeah, this guy right here, right? So I just need a couple of things. Uh, so right there, diamond gear. And Enchantment Sorter just needs an Enchanted Book. All right, so I have got to have... Yeah, there's Protection 1. That's garbage. So here's what I'm thinking, is we will export out of the system all of 
all of the stuff. And let's go to the place I'm actually going to do it. So I'm going to come down here to the uh, RS room. And right now I've got all of these things exporting garbage, right? And so now what I'll do is I will export them into the enchantment sorter. Uh, and I'll show you. I guess we'll do a quick setup here. So something like this. And I'm going to say, let me grab some conduits and an exporter, right? And some, something like this. And I don't know, leggings here. We'll just take this kind of stuff. And so I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to need another trash. Well, no, I can use this, right? So I've got all of this. So the non-enchanted items, I'm going to want you to go... I guess uh, up, let's go back, right? And enchanted items, you can go to the left. I think that'll make sense. And then input items and then energy and energy. All right, so that means I'm gonna need another flux point, right? Even though this should make its own energy here in just a second, but let's just get the test model working, right? So you, all right. So garbage is going to come out the back, right? Things that aren't enchanted. And so let's just do this. Let's just stick those there and extract from here and insert into there, right? And then everybody else, and I don't think this will pull uh, right there. I don't think it'll pull, so I'm just going to extract from here and I'll insert into there, right? So something like this. And then we should be able to, ooh, that's too close. Uh, I'll just run it around with a piece of cable because this is only a temporary shut, uh, setup just to show you. Right, so here's some cable. And can I, do, can I do something like this? And I'll tell you to export all the leggings, ignore the damage, ignore NBT. Right, and you're going to come through and you'll just go ahead and export. Ah, uh, oop, you know... Oh, and I lost my generator. Really? Anyways, now that I got a new generator, all right, it must be, maybe maybe I got to wrench them off? I'm going to have to look into that because I've never known that you can't break these guys, but whatever, right? So this guy is going to make whatever it is, uh, depending on, you know, the, the power, right? The power of the enchant. And then I'll just got to see if it gives me the extra piece left over which means I might have to extract things. It would be good if it just burnt it up. I'm going to assume that's about 40 RF a tick, but we'll get into making speed upgrades. And then I can take myself a flux plug, right? And I should be able to do this, and I should be able to add that power into the base. Yeah, I'm getting 40 RF a tick, but I'm getting 40 RF a tick off from garbage, right? Garbage I was going to throw away anyways. So I thought that was kind of fun. We'll, uh, we'll use armor for power and we'll have to get into making uh, speed upgrades. So I think I'm gonna call it there for today. Pretty successful day. Got my angel ring, even though we had to do some stuff. Did set up the AFK Fisher. We've got night vision on us now. We've got some better armor and got to play with the mods a little bit more. So I'm 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hey, drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and then I will see you in the next episode.